we're going to use the answer process as we've done before to try and find the better move. And as the title dictates, it's the art of the waiting move. So we've got to practice that patience in readiness for our over the board match tomorrow. So find the best move for white. Let's have a look at the situation. Rook's in the centre of the board, it's facing the king. Queen can come here, but the knight is there, so it's not going to be any of that. Queen is under threat. Their queen is under threat. Well, this looks a very complicated situation. Okay, do we want our queen to be taken? Which one's going to be best? Rook takes the queen. Knight takes the queen. Rook takes the rook with a check. So it's uh, higher material. But they don't have to do any of that, so it's not really forcing anything. So if the rook takes, then the rook could take. But then if the rook takes, then our queen escapes. So it might be one of those funky ones where it's uh, the rook takes because it could potentially get a higher piece potential back rank checkmate because the king's a little bit hemmed in there must be something in that story rook takes rook takes no the rook doesn't take the knight takes because he wants to save he wants to get the queen as well so if the knight takes our queen then our rook takes the rook And then his rook takes the rook. Then our knight can take his knight. So we're going to be up material. I believe it's that. Rook takes. If the knight goes funky, wants to do that, we have a check on the king. So they have to deal with a check on the king by capturing. Then we capture the knight. So we're going to have a bishop, a knight and a rook. I can't see it being anything else. Rook putting a check on the king. That's a bit fancy, isn't it? Knight can simply take. So it's not going to be that. That's not winning anything. Oh, hold on though. Hold on. Let's, let's look at that one. Let's do the art of the waiting move. Rook takes with a check. Maybe the knight takes. Then there's space here for the queen that looks a bit long though doesn't it it's not actually a check on the king and the knight's not got anywhere over there so it's not that one no so i think it is the rook taking and then the rook takes with the check like we said and then we're going to be and the bishop Ooh, hold on and the rook is protecting the pawn yeah so the knight then takes the knight excellent continue training okay let's go for another one find the best move for white let's break it down if we can king's not got castle it's hemmed in by the knight rooks by itself all right looks like it this has just started are they finishing this already oh let's have a look any checks on the king? No white square bishop. This has a check on the king. And it actually wins a piece, doesn't it? It's probably as simple as that. Because the king has to do something. Either moves out of the way. Or bishop comes in front. Or the queen comes in front to stop the check. Either way, the bishop is captured. So I don't think we need to overthink that one. Yeah, and just capture. All right, that was pretty straightforward. Go for another one. Best move for white again. Come on, where's the black ones? All right, so let's uh, see what this one is telling us. This and this are protecting this. No way into the king at the moment. Unless, of course, there's a sacrifice that we don't know about. So if the rook did take, queen did take, sorry. 
and say the night took. Yeah, that's not that's not working. Could go and attack the rook. It's not forcing though, is it? It's not kind of the rook has to do something, has to move. Yeah, I don't it's not that. Okay, um attacking the knight. Nope, the knight just simply takes. What is this position all about? Come on, think it looks simple, but I can't really see anything. Knight can just block in the queen. But again, these are not these are not forcing moves. The queen's taking the pawn. I do think we just need to ignore the knight here. Something's happening up here, but I can't see it other than attacking the rook. Let's attack the rook. Uh, it could come here and attack the queen. It can't be that basic. No, it's not that. Unless, of course, the queen can take this pawn here. But then he takes the knight. So if the queen takes the pawn, queen takes the knight or the pawn, whichever one. But then we're actually on his rook. So he has to do something about his rook. Because we're on a higher piece. So I think the starter for 10 is basically the queen attacking the pawn. Because it's got no protection. And it's actually hitting both the rook and the knight. So it depends what they do after that. I can't really say, but I think that's probably it. So they've taken the knight, but we're, we can take a higher piece. Or is there a better position? Is there a, like a checkmate thing? I don't think there is. We're not going to take the knight because the queen is protecting. So we'll take the higher piece. Okay, that's just a material gathering one. Okay, we're flying through these. I'm going to do one more. And then that'll be it. Right, so, oh, a black. Best move for black. Whoop, whoop. Right, so, I think this looks pretty straightforward, doesn't it? Not taking there because obviously the take, but we can take the bishop. So we're actually getting a minor piece out of that exchange because we've got the support of the bishop. I think it's that simple, isn't it? Grabbing a piece. I've seen this quite a lot of times in um, games. Uh, even in my own games, you know, where I go and attack something and then afterwards I realise, oh, they've got a two-on-one on it. And this is one of those cases where we've got a two-on-one. So I think we can take. Queen doesn't have to take and come down and take a pawn, but I think it's just as simple as that. Yeah. Material gathering. Excellent. That was a nice session.